Hello, my name is Ulushina Olashupo. I am an MSN student in nursing administration at the University of Texas in Arlington. Um, I'm going to be doing a book review on uh, the book um, titled First In Lifestyle, the uh, Leadership Lesson from the New York Fire Department. I'm going to start with the author's qualification. The author of this book um, is John Sarka. John Sarka was a battalion chief at the New York uh, Fire Department uh, with over 30 years, 30 years of experience before he retired. He actually started um, his career as a firefighter and uh, worked his way up. He became a lieutenant, he became a captain, and before he ended up uh, becoming the battalion chief. Um, he had uh, more than uh, 150 men, including the firefighters and officers, uh, under his leadership. Um, Jones. Uh, Chief Sarka uh, wrote many articles and two books, and one of the books is what I'm going to be talking about uh, today. Uh, in 2004, he wrote the book First In, Last Out, and in 2009, he wrote The Engine Company. Uh, he lectured on leadership and fire-related subjects in, at many places in the United States. Um, John uh, Salka um, had uh, a lot of all his publications that were based on his experience while working at the uh, fire department uh, in New York. Purpose of the book, what was the purpose of this book? The purpose of the book is actually to demonstrate to the leaders the qualities needed to lead a group. Uh, the book is also uh, is an, uh, an high opener to the leaders on the responsibility bestowed on them and the expectations of the subordinate from them. You know, when somebody is in a leadership position, there are some expectations uh, from, the, from, the, from the subordinates to the leaders and there are some expectations uh, from the leaders to the subordinates. Um, John Salka actually, actually believes that a leader is needed to unify a group of people to achieve the organizational goals and objectives. He laid emphasis on the importance of leadership and concluded that without leader, the organization is loosely connected without a mission or purpose, which means that pretty much everybody is just going to be doing whatever they like. We don't have anybody to coordinate their activities, we don't have anybody to motivate them, we don't have anybody to provide a support system, uh, and so on and so forth. Um, Chief Saka also mentioned that uh, a leader also needs to have good relationship with the subordinates and also to know the strengths and weaknesses of their subordinates so that they know where to plug in you know, each of the uh, subordinates. Um, also talk about the respect for the subordinates is also important and the availability of resources because if there's no resources, even though with the leader and the woman power, there's no way that organization goals and objectives can be achieved. Targeted audience. What are the people that are targeted? You know, uh, with this book, anyone currently occupying leadership position right now, uh, the target, uh, you know, targeted audience. Also, anyone that is trying to get into the leadership position, like somebody like me, that after my MSN, before my MSN, I might get the leadership position. Then any discipline, even though this book, the examples are from the fire department, any discipline can actually use it. You know, aside from the fire department or the emergency management. Strength of the book. Um, one of the strengths of the book is actually using the real cases and the situations and in scenario in which the leadership attributes were actually demonstrated. That's one of the, you know, one of the uh, strengths. The other one is that it's so story from the fire department, which actually applied to the other discipline, such as you know, business, medical, hard, academic, and so on and so forth. Shortcoming of the book. Well, some of the cases that were actually you know, demonstrated in this book are from fire department, so which means that they might not be necessarily be applicable in other disciplines, like you know, in the business, in the um, academics, and so on and so forth. So that's, that's one of the shortcomings of the book. Uh, does the um, author achieve the ob objectives of the book? Yes. Uh, one of the objectives of the book is either to present to the leader that their actions or orders or intervention uh, can actually save their group or can be can have devastated you know effect on the on the group. Also, that if you if you order the fire, firemen you know to go and um, do something, uh, whatever action whatever order you give to them can be life threatening to them or it can actually save them and you can you can they can actually lose their life. Will I recommend the book? Yes, I will recommend the book to the current leaders, those that are interested in the leadership position. Um, suggestion, any reader of this book should make sure that they apply whatever the examples that they see in this book to their own uh, personal discipline. Thank you so much.